We've both been riding bikes for quite a long time. Yeah, and over the years, there's definitely a few lessons that I've learned from my time cycling. Yeah, how to fix a puncture, how to pack a bike in a bag in five minutes, and how to ride non-handed. Yeah, that, but there's also things like being one with the mountain, learning to push through the pain, you know, deeper life lessons that have really enhanced me. It's a bit much, isn't it, Connor? Okay, maybe it is a bit much, but let me explain, and I think you'll agree. Come on, okay, man. Let's do it. First up, I think the best thing that I've learned from cycling is that if you really want to see a place, you need to do it by bike. There's no car windows, you're in the environment, you're immediately approachable because you have that icebreaker when you meet someone of them saying, you didn't just ride here by bike. I think if you're gonna go anywhere, do it by bike. It's the perfect vehicle to see a place. I have to agree with you there, Connor. And you can go pretty far on a bike. That's it. There are a lot of events and places I've been that I'd never thought I'd be able to ride that far, and I have. And that brings us on to our next one, of how capable your body is. I have had plenty of crashes in my time. I fractured my pelvis three times and I have left a lot of skin on the tarmac. But every time I crash, I am amazed with how quickly my body recovers, how quickly the bones recover, and as well, the skin on your body. You'd never tell that I lost half of my elbow, but it just goes to show what your body can do. And as well, in terms of endurance as well, and how hard you can physically push your body. And I would not have learned any of that without cycling. Away from those very humbling thoughts of Manon, one thing that I've definitely learned while cycling is that you can eat a whole load of food, way more food than you ever thought possible. So away from all your usual sports nutrition that you like to get in whilst you're riding to keep yourself fueled, it's also the case of just craving more and more food as you're riding. And when you get home, absolutely raiding the cupboards, smashing it and then still feeling hungry. I've never known anything quite like it so I'm doing intense physical endurance activity. Just like Psycho. Mmm. Not complaining though. Delicious. Another thing that I've learned about cycling is often things are harder before they get easier. Now, I've had this a number of times I've been out on a long ride. You feel like you just cannot do it anymore. Your body is about to give up to you. You literally cannot turn the pedals, but then you hit a new road, a nice flat road. You have something to eat and you're a different person. It's kind of like these waves you go in. Things are really, really good and they're terrible, but you need to push through those hard times to get to the good bits. So now I have to ride up this steep hill to get to the nice flat road. Ugh. Next up, no matter what your passion, there is a niche for everyone. It doesn't matter what you're looking for, there's always something out there for you. So take cycling as an example. It's simple really from the outside, you've got pedals, a bike and a road to ride on. But delve a little deeper and you can really see that it's enjoyed by so many different people in so many different ways. You've got mountain biking, bike packing, fixed gear lovers, retro bike builds, gravel, cyclocross, road racing, the list is endless and I think what that tells me is that it really doesn't matter where you're from, what your background, you can enjoy something in your own way and have a cracking good time. Another thing I've learned from cycling is I appreciate a good cup of coffee and a lot of cyclists do. Now before I started cycling, I hated coffee. Now, when I go out on a bike ride, a good cup of coffee is all I look forward to. It really does just help give you that boost when you're out on the bike. Not only because of the caffeine, but I appreciate the taste of it now too. I'm so grown up these days. Mm. One thing that I have categorically 100% learned from cycling is that the weather forecast is never right. It's never, never right. Today, supposed to be raining. Prepared for the wet weather. What is it? Blue skies, not a cloud in the sky. And to go a bit further, I think the most important lesson I've learned from cycling is that whilst weather forecasting never seems to be right, the only way to really know is to head out on your bike, figure it out for yourself. All right, don't need you today. Might need you tomorrow though. Sorry, sorry, rain jacket. 
Now I think one of the best things I've learned from cycling is that sometimes it's great to have everything planned out, your training, be dialed into your bike, but sometimes, just sometimes, it's better to screw those plans and forget about the perfectionism. Now life is hectic as we all know and sometimes it's impossible to plan and the one thing I've learned is that it's better to do something rather than nothing. A little something is better than not trying at all and I think that's good for life in general but also for cycling. Last up, some of the best catch-ups and chats happen when you're out on a bike. I think over the years, me and Manon, we've had some great chin wags, haven't we? <laughs> I'm not sure about this what? one, Connor. Manon? No. What are you talking about? Well, anyway, we've got a bit of explaining to do there, but I think the audience definitely will agree that if you're out on your bike, it is the best place to have a catch-up, have a chin wag, get anything off your chest. It's like mental recovery. Absolute bliss. No better place for a chat and on your bike. So there you go, a few things we've learned from our cycling adventures, but I guess they're not finished yet and we're always learning new things as we go. For sure, but let us know down in that comment section what you've learned from cycling that we haven't mentioned in our list today. We'd love to read them and as always, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching everyone, see you on the next one.